What's up guys, Day Zero Gaming here today, and I will be explaining to you guys five raid boss tips that will help you in the raid. Alright, so the first tip I have for you guys, right, is gonna be for balls. So I'm gonna do one for each boss, and then one that will just be um just basically just an overall raid tip, alright? So when you're playing against ball, so the best method is for one person to kite while th the three others are switching the lasers um, back and forth so the best thing to do is to grab the stoner LMG and just light up the back of it those three players they do not focus on ads the person kiting focuses on ads which are the enemies running around the map just the wolves and then um, the, he needs to take out the snipers up top as well in the boss arena so when you do that the lasers once you get to about 40 percent you'll call 40 once you hit 50, 50. Once you hit 60, 60. And so you'll just basically, whoever hears that calling, you guys will have to coordinate. So it, say, say there's three players player A, player B, player C. Player A has it first. Okay. 60, 70, 80. Player B, which you designate as player B, will go and grab the laser. Once he gets to the higher numbers as well, then player C will have to grab the laser from him. You have to have, you have to switch it between three players. So you can't go, I have it. So you can't have it to where A has it, B has it, and then A has it. You have to have C grab it, and then A will grab it from C. Alright? Um, once there's two lasers, it'll still be the same concept. There's the guy kiting and the other three. The difference is... Um, Whoever has blue calls the later laser blue. Whoever has the other laser will call the other laser's color. And here's which, which I think is purple, but they can change that in the future, so I'm not trying to, you know. So laser one, laser two. So whoever doesn't have the laser goes and grabs the next one. So player, player A has, has laser one. Um, play, player B has laser two. Player C doesn't have anything. C will run over to blue, and then the the second you lose the laser, you run over and grab another one. That way you have two people doing damage and one guy always running around grabbing the next laser. And you guys will all want to stay kind of close together towards the back of it, um, towards the back end of ball. So when ball goes in, um, goes enraged and he starts getting a lot faster on the guy that's kiting, Someone will run over, grab, so it won't be the guy with the laser, obviously, or the guy that's about to go grab the laser. It's going to be always the guy who just had the laser that doesn't have it anymore, because he won't be able to grab the laser for two more cycles, right? So he needs to go grab the aggro from ball, um, and then back away, and the kiter grabs the aggro back. You can switch the aggro between two people, but you can't do the lasers between two people it has to be three so i hope that cleared up ball so that was tip number one tip number two is going to be for the supercomputer so when you're doing the supercomputer boss um there'll be three three damage three um three bosses right so each boss has a hundred percent health let's just say that there's three bosses so that's three hundred percent you want to fully damage out one of the bosses one hundred percent and you want to damage a second boss right above 50%. So you don't want to damage it 50% quite. You just want to do about 40, 48, 45% damage to the second boss. And then after you do, so first off, you, so you want to do one gas phase, right? And then you want to go do the, it might take one phase, it might take two, get one boss completely down, get the other one to half. And then you go um, hit the gas and then so you don't want to do a half face. Never do a half face um, while the map is blue. So you want to do one boss completely down, one at half, and then you'll go do your gas. Like go hit your um, water one, main two, top three, whatever it is. And then you'll want to do a full phase of damage. And here's how you'll start it off. The boss that isn't damaged, you'll hit first. The map will turn red the and rage drones will come out. And then, after that one's damaged, you'll run over to the second one, which is at half. Because one's fully 
dead at this point. One's at half, one's fully alive. You damage the fully alive one first. You finish off the ones that's half. You go back to your spots. Do your gas thing again. And then you kill the last one. And if the second one still has a little bit of life on it, you'll go finish the second one. That's the best way to take down the supercomputer. And um, normally the way I do the drones, um, I'll always have top guy shooting drones while everyone else is doing damage. But once um, once he runs out of EMP grenades, he'll switch with um, another player with uh, damaging the drones. So if he runs out of EMPs, he needs to call it, and then the water guy will switch with them, and top guy will do damage while the water guy shoots drones. So that's that's the supercomputer. The next one is gargoyle. Um, so the best thing to do for the gargoyle fight is um, assign everyone to a corner of the map and make sure the area of effect attack has a name. Attack 2. Okay, so here's the best way to do it. Okay. So there's probably around four attacks. So I'll, as I'm going through it, I'll figure it out. But let's just say attack one is the lasers. You'd call one get mid, one get low, one get high. Okay? That's attack one. So you'd say one get mid, one get high, one get low. Say, say the laser's in the middle. Like, so there's three tiers of the laser, right? There's bottom, middle, and top. Say the laser's in the middle, you'd say get low. One get low. If it's in the middle, you'd say, oh wait, yeah. If it's up top, you'd say um, one get low, which just means crouch. If it is the bottom one, you'd say one get, one get high. That way, um you know what to do or one get mid because once it gets to about half damage two lasers are going instead of one so you always want to call um, what to do instead of where the laser is at because if you say one get mid that's a lot easier than one top and bottom you know it's just too much words not enough time so you always want to call the position of where to go so that's attack one and then you list what's going on um, attack two we'll just say is the drones so you'll say two two two. Two means drones are out. And I mean you can you can I mean clarify which attack is what before your group goes out, but definitely um this is probably the easiest way. Two is drones. So three is the area of uh, um the area damage attack where it um that's what we'll say. Three is the area of effect damage attack. And you'll have to specify if you want to go mid with all of the circles or go to the very far corners to drop off the circles. But that's the next attack. And then the last attack would be when he comes to the middle and does his lasers. So you'd have to give a number to that as well. So if you number it off and let everyone know what means what and everyone's cool with it and everyone knows what they're doing, it'll go by a lot smoother because everyone will know what's going on that's the biggest thing is people just get confused and make sure people know where the um, where the drones spawn and where to shoot when he goes to the middle and then um, obviously when you're ready to kill him you say burn 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 and that's gonna be when y'all burn the boss and just kill him and you know it just makes it easier. So the the next tip I'm going to give you is going to be on Cybris, right? Um, so you'll want to have one guy doing damage while the other three are kiting the bosses. So you'll want to kite the bosses in a counterclockwise circle. Every flash you're going to want to switch bosses counterclockwise. And um, you'll want to do it after the flash. The snipe the snipe whoever's on sniper will have to turn around and shoot the um mirror sometimes so make sure you have a longer range weapon or you're really accurate but yeah the sniper will try to stay on you for a little bit longer than other play other bosses but you'll probably be all right so 
the biggest thing is the guy doing damage needs to damage all bosses right above 50% before dipping any of them below 50% because that's when they get their enrage status. Um, and honestly, the person doing damage after they're all below that will also want to um, get them all like right above dying but not dead. That way you can take all three bosses at once because if you kill one, it'll just re reheal itself and come back up so hopefully that helped um, I have one more tip for you guys but I'm gonna finish up a couple more tips on Cybers real quick so the person doing damage needs to be doing about an even amount of damage to all the bosses just to keep things simple um, don't damage one boss fully and then go to the next because then the people um, cutting the bosses can't really help you with damage as much because you just limited their options of the amount of bosses they can shoot so if you damage them all evenly other people can help you out better if that makes sense it's all teamwork and the people kiting don't get scared of the bosses like a lot of people just get scared I mean like literally all you have to do is walk them around in a circle that's how easy it is like literally um, I've had I've seen a lot of confusion about that and my last tip guys is communication and teamwork so make sure you guys have a team you know you can communicate with and a team that you know um, will stay in and beat it with you and are willing to learn don't just match make with randoms and you know get kind of fucked over because it sucks like I don't know if you've seen the video on my channel of our speed run for 48 minutes but that's us doing what we do and then I don't know if you've seen my video of the three man Cybers, but the fourth guy that was in our lobby just went down and had no clue what was going on and we still beat it but with three people because we had a drag on our team you know because he hadn't known he didn't know what to do you know he hadn't watched any videos um, and we just needed a body in there so we didn't care too much to teach him so definitely don't end up doing that always make sure you're um, set up so I hope this helped you guys out I kind of explained the boss fights a little bit too so if you're a newer player hopefully that helped and appreciate you guys and your support on my channel I'll leave a link to my discord down in the comment section below that way you can get some raid matchmaking going on and some PvP it's for all three platforms PC Xbox and PlayStation so thank you guys and zero out